Let's begin with our next client today. We're going to call forward beautiful guides and angels for Miss Kimberly. Let me know when you're ready to proceed. We are ready. Wonderful. Let's begin with a body scan for Kimberly. Just scanning through the body, looking for any areas we need to address for her today, and let me know what you see. Her mind. Go back and forth, but a little bit in the throat. Mm, and she's excited. We feel her heart beating rapidly. She's excited to know more. We are excited for her. Wonderful. Tell her what you see happening in the mind. It's a swirling energy. Swirling blue light. It's a activation. She is rapidly activating, remembering all that was, all that is. She's wondering. It is the connection between her human mind and her soul essence of who she is and all that she brings to earth at this time. It is making the connection, it is making her head spin. And is there anything that she needs to know or be aware of to help her to get her mind into more clarity or more balance, not so swirling? Mm, it is the transition that will occur. It is the going from, I believe this to be true. These are my new beliefs that I have founded to this is a knowing. There is a difference. A belief is swirling. There are areas that doubt can creep in when you have a belief. When you have a knowing, it is solid, it is steady. It is grounded. It is unwavering. There are no cracks for others to manipulate your knowing. It is known. There is a transition that she will go through to get there. She is well on her way and we are so proud. Wonderful. And what about her throat? What's happening there? It is the voice to expand her knowing it is to allow others to hear what she knows she knows much she is ready to speak she needs to open her mouth to allow others the gift of the knowing of all that is of all beyond earth the time is now it is being broadcast far and wide into the knowing of all that you are not alone you never have been and you are not only not alone you are one of us and that you have come from the stars to help the earth it is being sent far and wide for this information to be received by all by the consciousness of all who are able to receive it to bring it to earth to share she is a messenger to share she needs to bring it through her body and share the information on our behalf on her behalf for the humans and so let's take a look at that heart you said it was very excited what else do you see there? Tell her a little bit more about that energy in the heart. She is excited to be the change. She is excited to know the truth. 
She is excited to be the forerunner for her people. She is excited to see the results of the earth. She sees it already. It's in her heart. She can see where this is heading. And she knows she has work to do. But she's excited to get to the end result. Because she knows it will be worth it. She knows it will be beautiful. She feels it from her essence. It will be worth it. She is a leader. It is a pushing she feels. And it is time. And she is so happy to be on this mission at this time. Wonderful. And if we could just ask our beautiful team of guides and angels to bring in some beautiful healing energies and frequencies for her to help with those activations and to help her to open her throat and speak her truth with ease. To balance that beautiful heart. We will do that now. Thank you. So let's see who's here for Kimberly today. What star groups are here to bring through her messages? We are from Lyra. We are here on her behalf today. The Syrians are beside us. The Pleiadians are here as well. Please let us know who you would like to come through. We are all available for our beautiful shining star. Beautiful. Thank you so much. So let's start with Kimberly's first question. She wants to know what is going on with her GI issues. She said she's never had them before. She wonders if she's healing, and she also wonders, will she gain weight back soon? And I'll just let whichever group feels that they can bring through the best information for her on that question. It is not yours. This is not from you. This is not your block. This is not your density. This is the earth, not earth herself, of course. This is the poisonings of the earth, my child. They wish you not to be well, so your light cannot shine. You need to rise above. You need to make your physical vessel pure again. You need to see their trickery. Do not let them poison you. You are there for big changes. We want you to drink only the purest water. The spring water they show us is pure. You need to purify your cells. This is a physical matter. This is not about your soul. This is not about your life force. This is not entities. Your solar plexus is strong and they know that and they want to destroy it. So they are hitting all with these solar plexus poisons, aren't they? You will not be taken down by their poisons. You may find a natural body healer to help identify the poisons and what your body needs 
to heal from them. It will be simple because it is just of the physical body that is easy to heal. They have gotten to your solar plexus in a small way that they have instilled some doubt into your mind that says, what is wrong with my body? Why am I not healing? There must be something wrong. Please stop those voices in your head. That is what they wish to accomplish with you. Do not let them run your thoughts. Do not let them run your mind. Do not let them instill fear or doubt. You are a strong, healthy, vibrant soul that has not been touched by the evilness. Purify your cells. Your body will heal quickly. You are whole and pure in and of yourself. Is there anything that we can do to assist her with clearing the solar plexus today? The Pleiadian team shows us that they are working on it now before you even asked. They are connected, they say to you. They are bringing in the yellow light to rid the impurities. However, we want to reiterate that if she continues to put them in from the darkness on earth, it will refill, do you see? It is not a soul healing she needs, it is a physical cell cleansing. So she needs to be aware. She may feel better after the flesh they are offering, but she needs to take steps, actions to heal her body fully. Yes. Yes, wonderful. Thank you so much for that assistance. So her next question, she says, she wants to know about her near death in her 40s. She said, having to learn to walk again, and it has caused some fear in her. What can you tell her about that experience? We are gathering the information to fully explain in a human mind why this occurred, how it helped her. We are the Syrians. We would like to come through on behalf of our child at this time as this near death, as she calls it, involves her aspect from here. She is a mermaid, you know. Funny, isn't it? We want her to put these together. She need legs when she is a mermaid. Does she need to walk the surface when she is a mermaid? No. She swims below below the level of earth, if you want to call her. For what purpose? To connect to all. The mermaid is a very special essence in that it connects to all beings, it connects to the ones walking above the earth and it connects to the ones below. This is a frequency. The mermaids are what is the word for them? You cannot find the correct usage. I almost want to say it's a translation of energy. It's a connector. 
a bridge of energy. Okay, we will get on with it, but you, my dear, needed to be connected again. You needed to connect to both ends of the frequency. You needed to connect to the, what you would call easy life. And we needed you to connect to what you would call on earth, the hard life. The ones that have withstanded circumstances of things that they take for granted on a daily basis, such as walking, those souls are brave. Those souls, such as yours, have chosen to take this experience and to expand yourself through it. You are missing the frequencies of the hard. Do you know why? Because you are Syrian. Hard is not what we do, is it? No. Hard can only be experienced on the earth. And you, my dear, said, I would like to experience that to expand my knowing of frequencies, energy, effort, compassion. You, you chose that. You chose to have that experience to grow through. Cliche, we know. You say, oh, is that all you have to say about that? Sort of. Because you, as a soul, took the leap to Earth to help Earth in many ways, but it was also a dual mission, you see. You wanted to explore yourself. You wanted to know the deep depths of the Earth of the frequencies, of the vibrations that she has to offer. You cannot experience those frequencies on Sirius. Not on Lyra, of course. Not on the Pleiades, no. You had to go to Earth to experience these. You did this for yourself and for others. You said, I want to know how it feels to want. I want to know how it feels to be at my lowest point. At my lowest point where you get to the point where you say, I don't know if I can keep going. I don't know if I can live. You brought yourself to the brink of here and there. You told us in those moments, I don't know if I can do this, you said. We said, of course you can. Experience it, soak it up. Learn from it, expand from it. You already knew you were strong enough to go to the bottom and to come all the way back up to the top again. You already knew that. It was a knowing, it's easy for you. But in the moment, it didn't feel so good, did it, soul? That's okay. You have learned much. You have used your aspect of your mermaid to connect with both ends of the spectrum, to connect the two worlds. When you are Syrian and you sit at the top frequencies of the spectrum, and you look around to all of those in need and want. You look around to all of those who are going through hardships. Who think they can't, who think they are doomed, who think they cannot go on. You cannot connect with them. You couldn't connect with them because your frequency did not allow it. You had never experienced the lower frequencies ever in your soul's life, your soul's existence. You took it on to do it all in one lifetime, brave soul. I will not go ahead, you said. I will not prepare in a lifetime before this one for Earth. 
I will do it all at once, you said. Such a Syrian move. I will do it all at once, you said. I will go in, have the experiences, expand my soul, connect to the low and the high, and then I will be prepared to move forward. Do you see that? You did it all together at once, and we congratulate you for making it through. Beautiful mermaid from Syria. And so is there anything that you can share with her just to help her release that fear moving forward? What does she need to know? You need to know that fear does not need to be there anymore, of course. That was the fear of what if I don't make it out? What if I don't make it to the higher vibrations again? What if I'm never the same? You need to know you could never be broken. You need to know this was just a physical body going through the brokenness. Your soul was never broken. You felt as if it was. It was always strong. It was always there cheering on your physical body. It was your human mind that broke a bit. And now we need to heal the human mind. The human psyche is weary. The human mind says, I need to keep this physical body safe. I have a lot of fears surrounding this physical body. It has been through a lot and is continuing to go through some more. And it puts you in a protective mode. You need to go past the human mind because the fear is not beyond that veil. Do you see? Your soul carries no fear. We are in contact with your soul. Your soul is whole and bright and beautiful and strong as it should be. You do not need a deep healing from the angels. Your soul is not broken. You never broke. Remember, that was not a soul breaking. That was an ego breaking to allow you to connect to the humans, allow you to feel human, allow you to really put your fingers in the dirt and to play with it. Say, how does it feel to be human? I want to really get my hands dirty to know. Let me feel it. And you did. Now, get your hands out of the dirt. Wash your hands, child. And know that it does not need to be feared. That experience was then for that purpose. You have accomplished what you came here to do with that experience. And now you need to move forward and know that you do not have any experiences in front of you that you have chosen to fear. Mm, we don't know if just telling you that helps, but we hope it shows you the aspect that we see that the fear is not real. It is just in your mind to keep your physical vessel safe, but there is no reason for it. It is just a protective programming. You can let it go. There's no need to protect yourself any longer. Wonderful. Thank you for that extra clarification. She wonders, does she have the power to heal others? Because she's a Reiki master and an RN. What can you tell her about her healing abilities? We are your Pleiadian guides. Hello, beautiful soul. Before the Syrians leave, they would like to show you that the power of light that runs so effortlessly, as they say, through your hands is sourced by them. 
We are the Pleiadians. We are here to show you the connection between your healing powers and your heart for humanity. You are a beautiful healer naturally. All Pleiadians are in tune with healing, with the needs of others, with the thoughts of others, with the earth. We are not far from you. We are an easy reach to call to. We want to take credit for your healing heart. You have the heart to heal people because of your aspect from of us. You naturally feel what others are feeling in your heart, in your soul, and you reach out to heal them. We are with you when you do your work. We are with you when you're with your patients. We are with you to communicate with your heart. And you pull this in through your heart energy. And you assess, transmute, and change the frequency in your own body. And you bring it out through your hands, through your heart through your soul and this is healing to the people of earth who need it at this time. You are a very compassionate healer. You are very compassionate in your work. We are so grateful for your work on the earth at this time. You are the healer of the people. You do this easily. You are doing well. Continue to call on us as you want more energy, as you want to change what you are doing, as you pick up on more details. You will become stronger. You are very strong, but you will become stronger when you don't worry about your own body first you have worry about your physical body that's in the back of your psyche and a little bit of that is holding you back from your true potential as a healer so please take the advice of your syrian guides to release that so that you can free flow the healing and love energy being sent from the Pleiades. We are so honored to have you on our team to be there assisting humanity. Wonderful. And did the Syrians have anything that they would like to add to that? We would like to show you that the power, the strength of energy is sent through us, my child. It is a power that is different. It is a, we are not sure how to differentiate this for you versus the Pleiades energy. It is different. It is older. It is it is encapsulating the earth. We are one of the teams raising the frequency of the entire planet as we speak. Do you know that? We are one of the teams changing the earth resonance herself. It is a different frequency. It is a... It is a frequency of not only healing for the human body, but a frequency to evolve the energy, change it completely, 
put it on a completely different level, it's going to change it all. It is not just a healing of the vibratory state of the human body to heal from disease. It is a evolution. It is the energy to carry the souls to the next plane of existence, do you see? It is different. You are doing both. You are bringing the Syrian energy to do this for them. And you are bringing the Pleiadian energy to do that for them. Do you understand, child? Wonderful. Thank you for that extra information. Very good. So her next question, she wonders if she should stay in Florida or if there's somewhere else that she should live. What can you tell her about her current location and if there's anywhere in better alignment with her? We all are in agreement here. We have asked the other guides. And they say, no, we like where you are because you, they make a joke about us. They say, you little mermaid, we think that's funny, need to be near the waters. They say, the closer, the better. You need to be in tune with the waters more. The waters, the oceans, will remind you of who you are. They will activate different aspects of you that you have brought to this planet. They are healing to your physical vessel as well, they say. They show us the Earth's oceans have been they say touched by the angels to heal you to remind you of home we want you to go there more 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 if you can move even closer to the waters that would be our only move suggested. It is important for you not to leave the water. Do you understand? It is the bridge that you need. It is the connecting point from here to there. It is healing, cleansing, wiping, renewing for your soul to thrive but you need to make an effort to go there more, to incorporate it daily if you can. It is not so much a problem of where you are living, but what you are doing with it. You need to step out into the waters to be renewed, and you will feel happy again where you are. You will feel content again where you are. The incontentment or second guessing of where you live is only because you have disconnected yourself through being too busy, trying to do too much for others. You need to be careful. You are a giver. You need to recharge your own batteries. You need to stop in recharge your life force flow through water. Do you understand? Do you see how important all the water is to you? You need to be in the healing waters and you need to put healing waters in you. Do not underestimate the power of the water for your soul. This is where you originate is the water. Do you know? Wonderful. Thank you for that. So she says, I've always felt like this wasn't my home. She said, it's hard to understand why. And she says, I've always felt like I'm an empath for everyone. 
she wonders, how can she protect her energy? What can you share with her about that? We will let the Pleiadians come through. This is definitely a place that they have a hard time on Earth because of this ability. We will be back later. Hello, these are your Pleiadian guides. We want you to know we apologize for the gift of empathy. You are extremely empathic due to your abilities to pull in frequencies of others easily. You are a receiver. You are a antenna of energy. You pull it in through your soul, through your etheric body. You bring it in through every cell of your being to read what the person needs. You do it with your heart. Your heart reads the energy and knows where there are pieces missing. It knows where there is darkness. It knows where there is imbalances, needs, holes. And this is a gift for you to help the humans, to help them heal. You are a strong healer. You need to receive the information to heal, don't you? This is where it's hard for us. The turning on and off of that ability can be done, but it is not that easy to put into words. You need to be in charge of your own energy force. Do you know? When you are offering your services of healing to others, you turn it on. You turn on the receiving portion of your gifts and you receive it so you may know it, so you may heal it. When you are in other aspects of your life, where you are not giving the healing, you may flip the switch off. You do not constantly need to be receiving the room. You are in contact with many, and this makes it hard for you. You always have your receiver switch on. You need to learn to flip it off. There is a difference, you say. Am I not shining my light? Am I not giving healing if I flip off my receiving switch? No, that is not true. You are Pleiadian. You always are a giver of light. This is what we do. This is what we have ascended to. We have ascended to the ability to always be giving of light, of healing, of love. It is easy. It is an innate ability you will always carry. That, my child, you cannot turn off. But you do not need to be receiving the disharmony of their bodies at the same time. There is an inflow switch and an outflow. Do you understand? You will always be outflowing your beautiful light source energy. And that will always be a gift for everyone that comes into your presence. For everybody that shares the same room as you, they will be blessed with the gifts from the Pleiades. And we will so happily provide that for them effortlessly and ever flowing through your light force energy. This will never be depleted. This will never be shut off. This will never be taken from them. It is why you are there. But you do not always need to be receiving, receiving, receiving the input 
of what their body is yelling for, what their body think it needs, what their body wants. That can short circuit you, that can drain you, that can make you tired. We do not need that, do we? So there is a switch within you. You walk into a room. You are not there to heal someone, so you flip off your receiving switch and you outpour your love and you outpour the light, but you do not take in. We do not know if that makes sense. This is how we are trying to paint the picture so that you can start practicing with it. You can start doing this immediately. So instead of stopping and pulling in their energy like you do, instead of allowing it to come up through your solar plexus, through your heart for you to experience their needs, you will push out your light through your heart, through your solar plexus first so that it cannot be pulled in. Do you see? Think about when you are actively healing someone. Think about the output phase. You feel the energy of life force flowing through your body beautifully, effortlessly, and you feel it flowing out through your hands. In that moment, are you pulling up at the same time? No. You are focusing on pushing out from creator to patient, from creator to patient. If you need to at first, put yourself in this state as you walk through places that would normally drain you. Pull from creator and out push. Pull from creator and out push as you walk around. And at first this may take more effort, but it will become routine. It will become something you do automatically. You will no longer allow situations to drain you. You will no longer allow that receiving of all of the input of all the beings around you to bombard your system. We hope that answers your question. We will be here to work with you in this. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that. So she wants to see if you can check for any entities or any e evilness to leave and let her heal so she can become her vibrant self again. She says, I have work to do in love and light. Anything that's preventing her from healing, any attachments, entities, anything that needs to be cleared, tell me what you see. We have explained this a bit, but we will clarify for her knowing she does not have entities. She does not have evil attachments. Her soul is strong. Her soul is whole and pure. Her fear it was making her feel that way. So if you want to call her fear an entity, you may do so. It feels and looks and acts the same, doesn't it? So we have talked to her about that already and clearing that. We would also like to show her the water again the Syrians were correct. Her water that she puts in her needs to be pure from God. It is keeping her sick. She needs to find the purest water from the springs to purify her her cells. She needs to go to the ocean to purify, rejuvenate, uplift her soul. 
The water is the key to her healing. It will heal her. She needs to be one. She doesn't need to underestimate the power of the water for her vessel and for her soul. Do you understand? And energy will abound again through the life force of the water. Wonderful. Very, very good. So she had one extra little question. We're going to just um, go ahead and include for her today. She's wondering why did her sister and her daughter-in-law turn against her? Is there anything that you can share with her about that situation? We are the angel team. We would like to step in to help you see this for what it is. You have probably noticed that a lot of souls on earth at this time are going through similar situations that relationships are ending that there are splitting of worlds and that is because of the splitting of the dimensions you need to know that this is not about you this has nothing to do with you. You think, what did I do wrong? I feel bad. I want to make it right. I wish I knew what I did so I could change it. We want you to know that you didn't do anything. It was a frequency shift. It was a big shift. We apologize that these shifts have been so fast, so rapid. That people haven't had time to slowly adapt to new relationships to new changes it's just been a breaking point it's having to choose you have to choose which dimension would you like to reside in we are about to go we are about to ascend we are about to take off in the rocket so to speak are you going to be on the rocket to ascend, to go to the new dimension? Or would you like to stay on the earth? Would you not like to get in the ship and go? Would you like to stay? And everybody has to choose. There's no in-between. The in-between is getting thinner and thinner and thinner. And people are making their choices along the way. And now we're getting to the countdown point. We are counting down for takeoff. So they have decided. We want you to know this is a sole choice. It is not about you. You need to rise above that. You need to see it for what it is. You need to know it wasn't your soul's fault. It wasn't your soul's choice. It was their soul's choice. This is their free will to stay on earth. It feels distant. You cannot see each other well. You cannot hear each other well. When you are in two different dimensions, we understand. But that is okay. And we want you to know it, it will be okay. Do not mourn for losing their relationships. Or losing the connection you are still connected at the soul level you will never be disconnected as souls you are only disconnected on this short journey to experience these roles to play these parts to allow this process to happen for earth herself we just hope that brings you comfort knowing that you have nothing to do with it personally so please drop that feeling please drop that responsibility wipe your hands clean hold your head up high know that you did nothing wrong it was a splitting of worlds of dimensions 
and you ended up on two different sides, but that is okay. There needs to be people on both sides. Souls need to do both. We need both sides to balance the ends. So move along on your journey. Do not look back. There is much to come, beautiful soul. Beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Are there any final messages today for Kimberly? We want to say, Kimberly, you're going to be okay. You need to know that and you need to hear it. You need to know that in your soul that you are an ever healing, ever thriving being of light and love from the heavens. We want you to take all of the wisdom and all of the advice of all of your guides today and start to apply it. Because we see that you do this quickly and easily and as you do it, you are the vibrant, healthy body that you have been desiring in your heart. It is there. It is waiting for you. It just needs to get to that level. You just needed a little bit of wisdom to help you to get there. But you will be there quickly and easily. You will learn to adapt your body to make it even more powerful. You will be so impressed what you can offer the people of Earth. You will be so impressed at your own healing abilities. You will say, wow, look what I can do. It will blow your human mind to see it unfold in front of your own face. You will allow people to heal in ways that you don't even know can be done. We are so proud of you and we are going to be with you every step of this journey holding your hand and we want to remind you to call on us. We can connect with all of your teams and bring them in in any way that you would like. You may also connect to them directly, of course, but we love to be the middleman. <laughs> we love to help deliver the messages. That's what we do best. So please call on us and we will be there for you to uplift you, to heal you, to encourage you and to move you forward so you may be the healer that humanity so desperately needs. We love you. Wonderful. Thank you so much for all of those beautiful messages for Kimberly. And I'll allow her guides to begin to recede with so much love and much thanks for the information that they've brought forward for her today. <laughs> 